BrainWise presents Grade 1, Science Quiz B, Part 3 Hello, brilliant minds! It's time to test your science smarts! 20 questions stand between you and science glory! Are you ready to take on the challenge? Number 1, what do roots do for a plant? Again, what do roots do for a plant? The choices are A. Make food B. Hold it in the ground C. Make flowers D. Make seeds The correct answer is B. Hold it in the ground Number 2 What is the job of the stem? Again what is the job of the stem? The choices are A. To make food B. To hold the plant up C. To make flowers D. To absorb water The correct answer is B. To hold the plant up Number 3 what does a plant need to breathe? Again, what does a plant need to breathe? The choices are A. Sand B. Air C. Rocks D. Toys The correct answer is B. Air Number 4 if a plant doesn't get sunlight, what happens? Again, if a plant doesn't get sunlight, what happens? The choices are A. It grows big B. It turns blue C. It dies D. It makes toys The correct answer is C. It dies Number 5. Plants need good blank to grow strong. Again, plants need good blank to grow strong. The choices are A. Food B. Friends C. Care D. Toys The correct answer is C. Care Number 6. Which of these is a plant we eat? Again, which of these is a plant we eat? The choices are A. Flower B. Tree C. Vegetable D. Grass The correct answer is C. Vegetable Fantastic job so far! You're showing your science skills! Take a quick moment to refresh! And let's jump back into the quiz! Number 7. Which is a tall plant with leaves and branches? Again, which is a tall plant with leaves and branches? The choices are A. Carrot B. Rose Seed Tree D. Tomato The correct answer is C. Tree Number 8 Which plant is usually small and green and grows on the ground? Again, which plant is usually small and green and grows on the ground? The choices are A. Tree B. Grass C. Flower D. Vegetable The correct answer is B. Grass Number 9. What is the job of a flower? Again, what is the job of a flower? The choices are A. To hold the plant in the ground B. To make seeds C. To make food D. To help the plant stand tall The 
The correct answer is B. To make seeds. Number 10. Which of these objects is flexible? Again, which of these objects is flexible? The choices are A. A coin B. A ruler C. A rubber band D. A rock The correct answer is C. A rubber band Number 11 what happens when you mix red and yellow paint? Again, what happens when you mix red and yellow paint? The choices are A. It turns blue B. It turns green C. It turns orange D. It turns purple The correct answer is C. It turns orange. Number 12. What happens to water when it evaporates? Again, what happens to water when it evaporates? The choices are A. It turns into ice. B. It turns into steam a gas. C. It disappears forever. D. It turns into rain. The correct answer is B. It turns into steam a gas. Number 13. What happens to air when it gets warm? Again, what happens to air when it gets warm? The choices are A. It rises B. It sinks C. It turns into water D. It disappears. The correct answer is A. It rises. Number 14. What do we call the process when a gas turns into a liquid? Again, what do we call the process when a gas turns into a liquid? The choices are A. Melting B. Freezing C. Condensation D. Evaporation The correct answer is C. Condensation. You're a science champion in the making! Keep your eyes on the prize and answer the remaining questions with confidence! Number 15. Which of these simple machines is not a lever? Again, which of these simple machines is not a lever? The choices are A. A seesaw B. A slide C. A crowbar. D. Scissors. The correct answer is B. A slide. Number 16. What is the purpose of a fulcrum in a lever? Again, what is the purpose of a fulcrum in a lever? The choices are A. To make the lever colorful. B. To be the point where the lever pivots or balances. C. To add weight to the lever. D. To make the lever move faster. The correct answer is B. To be the point where the lever pivots or balances. Number 17. What happens to the effort needed to lift a load when you move the fulcrum closer to the load? Again, what happens to the effort needed to lift a load when you move the fulcrum closer to the load? The choices are A. The effort needed increases B. The effort needed decreases C. The effort needed stays the same D. The lever breaks The correct answer is B. The effort needed decreases. 
Number 18. What is the name of the process by which plants make their own food? Again. What is the name of the process by which plants make their own food? The choices are A. Respiration B. Photosynthesis C. Evaporation D. Condensation The correct answer is B. Photosynthesis Number 19. Why do plants need to absorb nutrients from the soil? Again. Why do plants need to absorb nutrients from the soil? The choices are A. To make flowers B. To grow strong and healthy C. To attract insects D. To make seeds The correct answer is B. To grow strong and healthy Number 20. Which part of a plant is responsible for absorbing water and nutrients? Again, which part of a plant is responsible for absorbing water and nutrients? The choices are A. Stem B. Leaves C. Roots D. Flower The correct answer is C. Roots. Wow! You did it! You've shown your amazing science skills! Remember, learning is a never-ending adventure! Enjoyed the quiz? Give it a thumbs up, tell your friends, and hit that subscribe button! See you next time! You rock this quiz! Post your score and see who can beat it! Check out other videos from BrainWise.